a person hears a joke or if they watch a movie they read a novel they you someone mentions the story you become excited you become happy or joke you laugh actually second time when they actually tell you the same joke you become happy but the third time for after fifth time a person becomes bored or he doesn't feel any uh, excitement and things uh, he said now tell me something new i've already heard that give me something new but the attitude towards other thing when some sorrow some grief any uh, problem uh, a person suffers or any news which actually give him uh, grief and sadness this person dwells on it and not four or five times sometimes hundreds of time in their life actually they are repeating and keeping and every time it's uh, repeated or he remembers this as though it's happened today the anger the anguish uh, the hatred uh, the animosity is as though fresh now this is a, a shaitanic attitude what has allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said is the opposite that if you have any suffer anything if you any uh, problem any difficulty any misbehavior from people the guidance is that you do sabr be yani restrain yourself of doing something uh, bad and say inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun that we came from allah we will turn to allah these things are not going to stay nor they are our purpose we are allah's we came from allah and we are going to return to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you exercise patient and forget that and get on with your purpose alhamdulillah this person then actually progresses and over time it heals as well but those who dwell on it and keep the these things refresh and re- keep repeating they develop stress they develop anxiety they develop hatred animosity and other things and other mental illnesses from mental illnesses physical illnesses psychological illnesses uh, start so they actually are making a life hell for themselves while on the other side uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jalla majduhu had mentioned the quran about blessings about happiness uh and ni'ma and blessing uzkuru ni'mat allah that we receive happiness a person might give you joy he might do good something good to you he might help you by evening we forget we never repeat it in our mind we never we hardly we remember and feel that kind of joy or allah azza wa jal is giving you blessing day and night every millionth of second the life the energy the existence and the blessings we actually receive once and then actually forget we are receive health forget we buy a car forget we have children forget and this attitude actually makes us more sad and actually be, uh, and ungrateful so try to contemplate and reflect uh, upon this change the actually your meaning uh, have a paradigm shift meaning completely like a person shifts a gear that actually dwell on blessings someone has done good to you or some joy you have be grateful think about that's known as shukra and do not dwell on actually any bad thing because that's going to grow so whatever you focus on is going to grow is going to overtake your life so it's uh, up, upon you what you take i mentioned to you the quranic uh guidance on it and the quranic guidance is the divine guidance of the the creator which is whole the wisdom and knowledge and 100% truth